So good afternoon all. Uh, so I will be doing a video on Who Will Cry When You Die by Robin Sharma. So Who Will Cry When You Die by Robin Sharma is a book that pushes readers to reflect on their life and consider what kind of legacy they want to leave behind. Uh, the book consists of one or one uh, short chapters uh, with interesting titles and each chapter is cent uh, centered around a single life lesson. So it makes us very approachable to the book. Like if you feel like you can just, I need a, uh, advice on one particular issue, you can just look at the issue and read it. Like you don't have to read from chapter 1 to 101 to understand it basically can just approach our chapter anywhere. So uh, this book opens up with a uh, central question. Are you living a life that would make others remember you with respect, love and inspiration? Um, so he encourages readers to focus on what truly matters and offer practical advice on how to achieve that. Uh, so in the first chapter, discover your calling. Sharma asks the readers to identify their life's purpose. So he believes that once we know uh, what truly fulfills us, everything will naturally fall into its place. So the initial chapters focus on cultivating kindness, gratitude, self-reflection and all. Uh, and in the chapter, everything, uh, every day be kind to a stranger. Sharma like tells us how small actions are you know like have a huge impact on other person and our life as well and like that will create a you know ripple of positivity around you uh, another recurring theme in the book is self-discipline so uh, Shama believes that success and happiness come through a structure and commitment so uh, in chapters like practice tough love and learn to say no gracefully. He explains that uh, self-discipline uh, self is a foundation for growth. So by setting boundaries and managing our time and saying no when necessary, uh, we free ourselves from, uh, we free ourselves and focus on what truly really matters. So in addition to discipline, Sharma emphasizes the importance of authentic relationship and social support. So he encourages readers to build meaningful connections and stand by the principles um, and create genuine relationships which are really crucial for our life. Uh, and it will improve our happiness and inner peace as well. So uh, he asks us to surround ourselves with uh, positive supporting people and this itself is an investment for our well-being and, uh, and it also helps us to st stay true to ourselves. So this book is not just you know like a strict self-improvement tip or something. Uh, it, uh, like Sharma also asks us, like reminds us that readers to embrace joy and simplicity and like he suggests that you know like your life should have a little bit of playfulness you know like gratitude rather than always thinking about the achievement and uh, discipline so he encourages readers to see the world through a childlike lens uh, which will uh, you know like cultivate a sense of curiosity and excitement in everyday life so uh, Sharma emphasizes that Time is a really important and most valuable uh, resource in our life. So he advises us to you know like avoid uh, distractions, uh, learn to prioritize, and make time for things that truly matters. So for Shama, personal growth involves uh, not only external achievements but inner resilience and willingness to confront your fears. Um, so he also talks about self-care, uh, mental well-being and all and uh, it's, this book is a reminder for us that uh, life, our life is defined by our own choices and interactions we have. So uh, this book will be a really good book for anyone who is seeking guidance, inspiration or a fresh 
perspective, to get a first fresh perspective on life and uh, to uh, enjoy a more uh, impactful life. So uh, it's it's a very difficult thing to you know like uh, uh, say all the one not one titles like all the chapters. So I'll just say the chapters that you know I like or uh, the titles that I like basically. I couldn't fully read the book. Let me be honest. So some of the titles are every day be kind to, uh, be kind to a stranger, practice tough love. Uh, honor your past. I think that's one of my favorite one. Uh, learn to say no gracefully, which is a skill I learned from past one year. So laugh more, take more risk, uh, live a life, enjoy the path, not just the reward. So it's a crucial chapter. Connect with nature, walk in the woods, listen to music daily. That's something that I do as well. Don't be so hard on yourself. Stop thinking tiny thoughts. So this chapter will help a person who is you know, like a very uh, overthinker, like who overthinks a lot and destroys all the happiness and positivity just because he got a tiny thought. So yeah, that uh, it will really help that person. Then take more pictures, obviously, and then collect quotes that inspire you. And the final chapter is live fully so you can die happy. So uh, yeah, yeah, so that's the only chapter which we can connect to the book's title. We'll try when you die. So only the death is there in the title and the last title as a chapter's title. So yeah, like I'm really like um, I, I really think it would be a good uh, book for you know like whenever you feel down you can just go to the bookshelf, take the book randomly uh, read the chapter and then be like yes I am motivated for today. So it's that kind of book more than uh, book like I said like you don't, there is no need for reading from chapter 1 to 1 or 1. It's a very short book. So yeah that's it. Thank you.